Hey bro, what are you doing? Bro, it's my internals tomorrow. It's my first internals. I'm not prepared only. Like, I'm in my first year and already internals came off. I don't know what to study also. If you are someone who is currently in the same situation, then you are at the right place. Because in this video, I'll be telling you how you can manage to prepare for your first internals in an efficient manner, but in a smart way too. And I'm sure you will definitely enjoy watching this video. So watch this video till the end. And uh, for more such videos, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that I don't want any of you to miss out on uh, quality content regarding your first year engineering guys. With that note, let's start this video. If you know someone who is studying in class 9th or 10th from your friends or family, then share this video with them too because now they have a golden opportunity to secure a strong foundation for their career with Physics Wala's brand new batches for class 9th and class 10th student guys. Coming to class 10th, it is Udan Booster Batch wherein uh, they'll be covering the entire 10th foundation along with preparation for Olympiads and a solid preparation for your CBSC boards too. And uh, this batch is coming at a highly affordable rate of just Rs 999. And talking about class 9 students, it is a new fast track batch. And uh, in this batch, they'll be covering the entire 9th foundation along with preparation for CBSC boards too. And uh, this course again is coming at a highly cheap rate of just Rs 1500 only. I was just going through the common features of these two courses uh, wherein you'll be having two to three recorded classes every single day. Uh, for which the notes also will be uploaded in the app itself and again one feature which I liked was the dedicated doubt solving engine for you wherein you will be able to get your doubts resolved by expert faculties in the app itself and daily home assignments will be provided to you uh, for which video solution will also be uploaded and the fact that the syllabus will be covered by the end of January makes this batch a must join because you'll get a lot of time uh, in form of February and March for your uh, thorough revision and these features made me personally feel that these batches are the best for someone who is uh, thinking of getting a strong foundation laid down for their career from their class 9th itself. And as I told you earlier, you are already getting these two courses at a highly affordable rates. And uh, what if I tell you that you can get a further discount if you use my code which I am displaying over the screen uh, through which you will be able to avail an additional discount of Rs 150 on both these courses. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to know more about these batches and register as soon as possible to take your preparation to the next level with Physics Wala. Now talking about your internals preparation, whatever I tell you in this video comes with a lot of experience of myself involving in this process last year and uh, I'll be happy to tell you that even I was in the same situation uh, like how you are right now. All you have to do is to take a note of whatever I tell you right now and adopt them while you are preparing for your internals guys. Generally what happens is that many students miss out on uh, what things they have to study and end up in studying more or less than the required syllabus for your internals. So I don't want any of you to get uh, in that particular trap. So uh, the first thing you should do is to understand what are the things you need to study for this particular internals. Suppose your first internals. Then now you have a clear understanding of what all things you have to uh, prepare for. Next comes the accumulation of resources which are uh, necessary to prepare for your internals. Yes guys, I am sure uh, just like me, many of you won't be having an habit of uh, making clear notes or writing clear notes uh, in your engineering. So for people like me or uh, for these kind of people, one thing I would like to suggest is to accumulate these resources as soon as possible because when once you start preparing, you won't be in a position to gather resources or ask someone for resources. So uh, as a pro tip, consider accumulating or getting all these resources collected uh, before you start your preparation. This can be in form of uh, PDFs from your college or the notes which your friends have written. It can be any form of uh, resources but uh, try to gather all the PDFs or the necessary resources for your preparation. Now you have all the resources and the syllabus in front of you. Now is the time to study all of this in an organized fashion. So how can we study in an organized fashion is the question which should be arising in your mind. I always tell this to students who ask me about how to cover a unit or how to study a chapter. So once you take a chapter, it's not necessary that you should be solving each and every question which is coming in under that particular chapter or you should be studying each and every topic which is coming under the, that particular chapter. What I used to do was when it comes to subjects like mathematics or engineering mathematics to be precise, 
I used to solve uh, one or two questions from a particular formula or from a particular profile. So particular profile in the sense. Uh, suppose there is a main and under that main you have seven to eight questions which should be solved in a similar or in an exactly the same manner but the values only change so in that situation what is the necessity to solve all the eight questions when the approach is one and the same so this is one thing which many students miss out on so listen to me carefully guys you need not solve all the seven or all the eight questions when it comes to your internals preparation solve around two to three questions through which you'll be able to gather that confidence of solving that particular profile questions and through this you'll be able to save a lot of time and you'll be able to give your mind some work or give your intelligence some work to apply the knowledge which you have gained while studying and this has helped me a lot and i'm sure it will help you too if you inculcate this during your preparation guys and uh, then talking about theory subjects what I would like to tell you is to go in a systematic fashion. This is one thing which I have seen in many students. They will be very curious to understand which are the questions which are important in the internals point of view. As engineers, the approach shouldn't be like that. We should be in a position to understand the things which are given to us in form of syllabus and apply the same in form of questions when they are asked in your internals or your exam or anything for that reason and that is where many people miss out on acquiring the knowledge rather than uh, fumbling upon the important questions or the important content when it comes to theory subjects like engineering chemistry or engineering physics and this is where you should be able to go in a different manner or in a different approach altogether by understanding the concepts clearly from the first word in that unit to the last word and then trying to solve certain questions which have been asked in the previous years by consulting your seniors for their internal question papers or certain notes in which there will be a certain number of questions which have been asked or which have a higher probability of being asked in your exams and this is how i used to prepare guys and uh, let me tell you that this has worked for me and that is the reason why i am suggesting you people so that it will be a lot of benefit for you while you are preparing guys so now we understood how to go about a unit when it comes to a problem oriented subject and a theory oriented subject and as your elder brother or your well wisher i would like to tell you one thing guys your first internals will be the first examination kind of thing which you will be giving for your university or giving for your engineering college and i want all of you to give your best for the preparation for this internals and you need not worry about the results yes internal marks are important that doesn't mean you should be thinking of results rather than working really hard on your preparation so enjoy preparing for this first examination which will be giving for your university as part of your engineering life and uh, we all know the first impression is the best impression so you need not impress anyone in this matter but you should be focusing on impressing yourself because you should be your biggest fan in order to achieve great things and with this note I let me sign off guys. I have enjoyed a lot personally while I was talking about how you can prepare for your internals in a best possible manner. So if you did the same then hit the like button so that this video will be reaching to many engineering students out there especially the first year engineering students out there. And uh, if you have any kind of doubts regarding engineering or regarding first year engineering to be precise then put it in the comment section so that I'll be able to answer each and every one of you and I'll be able to think of what can be done regarding it in the coming future. And when I was talking about the resources, I missed this point. You can just join our telegram group in which there are more than 1000 engineering students currently in their second or third year of engineering. You will be able to reveal uh, different perspectives through which students approach their internals or any kind of exams in engineering. And so the link for that telegram group has also been mentioned in the description. So check out the description as soon as you end up watching this video. So share this video with your friends too so that they even, uh, they'll be able to get certain takeaways from this video which they can inculcate in their preparation for their first internals in their first year of engineering guys. With that note, uh, this is Darshan Eskoda signing off and we are brothers together. Thank you guys. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.